So Do Something Good is a place where people can go to if they want to find places to volunteer. Um, traditionally, it's been very difficult to figure out where to find volunteering opportunities. If you don't already have a relationship with an NGO, you don't find out about their volunteering opportunities, so you can't go. So what we've done is we've created uh, a site where you can find all of the volunteering opportunities in your neighborhood. We started late last year, uh, but I think that so a lot of the work that was done on the website was actually done over a weekend. We got a lot done, but the thing is, it's kind of like building a house. And if you've ever built a house, what happens is the structure and the, and the big things are very easy to do. They don't take that much time. But then all of the work goes into the finishing. And that's, that is really what we've been spending our time with. Um, and we've been talking to a lot of NGOs as well. You know, what kinds of features do they want included? Uh, and so Yaya San Salam, for example, gave us feedback and they said, uh, we need to have phone numbers because a lot of our volunteers don't read their emails. So that was a feature that we quickly added into the site. So there's been a lot of that happening uh, since or late last year. Well, volunteering is a fun experience. Uh, you get to meet lots of new and interesting people, uh, and you get to do something that is fun or different. So if you're looking for you know, something new to do this weekend or this week or next week, um, do something good is the place to go to uh, where you can find those kinds of opportunities. And you can meet new and interesting people. I guess we saw a need in the, in the market that uh, NGOs needed volunteers but couldn't find volunteers. And then volunteers wanted to help out, but uh, they couldn't find volunteering opportunities. So there was a need and we wanted to build a bigger bridge between the NGO and the volunteers. So yeah, do something good, why not? So I, I wasn't there at the start, but uh, the, the project was initiated uh, late last year. So December, barely December even. And so a bunch of a bunch of programmers got together, they hacked together the, the essential functions of the platform that you still see on the platform today. And yeah, and we've, we spent the last few months doing outreach, reaching out to NGOs, to volunteers. I would say, just get out there, you know. You, uh, we, I, for me, I waited for my friend to uh, ajak me, to tell me, come on, let's go. Lah. But you can be the friend to bring your friends out and join. And, and the thing about volunteering activities is that in a lot of NGOs, you meet a lot of interesting people. And you never know like the opportunities that you can come across, the people you'll meet, you know, the things you'll learn. So just try it out, get out there. Everybody needs help in some shape or form because nobody can do it alone. So if you can do something good for others, if you can share with others and even coach and teach others, then you're doing something good, not just for yourself, but for other people. And what goes around really comes around. I'll be very honest, probably about seven, eight years ago, feels like seven, eight years ago, probably about six years ago now, when I first started getting into the line of being a media professional, they approached me for some help, just some awareness on a campaign that they needed. It was called Relay for Life at that time, and I helped out. But while helping out and trying to give them more publicity, I saw what they really go through. Every day we watch the Discovery Channel, we watch the History Channel, we watch news to see the fight that you know, National Cancer Society of Malaysia has to go through. But once you see it with your very own eyes, once you hear it with your very own ears, and once you cry with your very own tears, you really see it and you really feel moved by it. And you say, look, I'm a lucky person. I get to eat. I get to drink something every day, usually something good. Because, you know, I work hard and then I get to reward myself with something good. But some people are not so lucky. So if I can help, give that person a little bit more luck or getting them closer to that luck that's doing something good go to that website and register I mean I've just been saying this quite a few times today many people are so used to like oh I don't know anybody I don't have any contacts I'm not really a loud person I'm not really a social person you don't have to be a loud talkative social person to help okay you have other skills that you have which are of very good quality and of very good use so go to the website register and yes by the time you know it, you'll be a volunteer with an organization of your liking in a matter of minutes. We live in a social age, social media age. Everything is very quick, very fast, and you have to be very fast as well. Uh, www.dosomething.gd This is the first day of my life That's why I 